Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Can you believe it? Today, we're gonna be doing some bonus levels. Some b -b -b bonus levels. First off is 5A the Beehive Brawl. Please don't brawl with bees. Don't stick any of your appendages in a beehive. I don't recommend it. But the one thing you're going to want to do is stick around with your boy, Frankie Kong. Because today's first puzzle piece. Oops. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I could pogo properly. Collect all these. Oh my gosh. Good thing I brought cranky barrels along because I'm going to need them. All right. Collect all the bananas. I don't use Cranky very often, so... I'm a little rusty on the stick. But it's okay, we're doing fine. We're back at it. Hopefully everybody's doing well. If you are doing well, I would love for you to comment on this video if you're feeling like it. If you have not subscribed, please do so. See the subscriber count slowly going up. I'd like to see that. Shows me you're all following along. I like the the loyalty but anyway yes and then like the video helps it to get noticed helps me to figure out which content you're all vibing with it's all beneficial to the future of the mic industry so thank you everybody for watching and following along and hopefully you have a gosh dang good time today all right let's go ahead and grab dixie or diddy whichever Whichever I'm just casually sort of paying attention to as I play. This is this rockin' tune. They did a really nice job of kind of texturing that honey in the background. I'm not sure how I feel about honey as like a food. I know that some people are really all about it. It has potential kind of medicinal qualities to it. You could have a glass tea, a cup of tea, probably don't think anybody ever has a glass of tea, I'm not sure I said that, you have a cup of tea, uh, and squirt a little bit of honey in it, maybe you got a little, little honey bear, squirt some honey in that bad boy, give that tea a little bit of extra power to heal you, allegedly. I've never really done so myself, but I've heard plenty of people do, so I'm sure there's probably some merit to that. Into that. Some people might uh, have a nice biscuit or a scone. Put a little honey in that. Mmm. Could probably vibe with that. I'm not sure I've ever actually had a scone that I would like recognize or remember. Oh boy. That was starting to get a little. A little dicey. Kind of a sticky situation. We're fine. We're doing fine. So, yeah, I don't know if I've ever, like, my experience with certain things like that is kind of uh, minimal. Ooh, this is really hard to jump off of. Ooh, ah. We're getting stuck. It's actually probably not the game's fault. More, more my fault of being a ding dong. All right, here we go. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Looks like this pendulum is a little stuck. If we have to hit from this side. Okay, that would make sense. There we go. So here is kind of the main gimmick of this level in particular. Swinging on these little pendulums here as they coast through the air. Probably would do better if I had D Dixie, but I don't know how far this goes down without me dying. Okay, so it does stop you. That's convenient. It's not as much of a free-for-all. Sometimes the game's just kind of like, you know what? You figure it out. Okay. Hopefully I didn't need to get all of those, because I didn't. Oh. Okay, that is death. Noted. One of the things that I do think is quite fascinating about honey as a food honey is that uh, allegedly beyond it having kind of mild medicinal qualities 
and soothing a sore throat or something along those lines is that honey allegedly is a type of food that can't really sort of spoil I'm not sure if it's like antimicrobial or it's it's not capable of bailing us out from that I'll tell you that my goodness let's go ahead and pop into our inventory here for a moment and get a buddy yes because this is going swimmingly already not sure you expected anything different but yes so apparently honey doesn't spoil or something along those lines i don't know the correct like term in the realm of nutrition but yeah allegedly it can't spoil so i remember reading something a while ago there was a group of I want to say maybe uh, archaeologists or paleontologists or something along those lines who were exploring a historical site and in the process of doing so they found a this was like in Egypt maybe they found an old tub or a jar of what would have been preserved honey and somebody in that group was bold enough to try it and apparently they were a-okay so yeah Something that was like thousands of years old. Didn't do him a lick of harm. And it said it was still pretty tasty. I always find that interesting. I don't know if I would ever be willing to do something along those lines. Because my body, unfortunately, is very sensitive. It gets hurt feelings when I eat food that doesn't agree with it. So, I think if I ate old honey, I'd be in a bit of a... But in a situation. Oh, nope. <laughs> Woo. Almost fell. Part of me actually was kind of expecting to fall there so that I didn't. Kind of threw me off a little bit. Alright, so we've got these bees here that are carrying chunks of. I don't know if this is like fruit or grass or what, whatever this is. But, uh. You need to. Slap them from underneath and it'll cause them to rise up. Don't miss this little alcove there. It's kind of important. Puzzle piece. But yeah. There's some old foods. Like, I get kind of, kind of annoyed this when something gets kind of close to the expiration date. I know that it's more so about quality rather than safety. You can, you know, you can safely eat plenty of things when they are approaching the date oops when they're approaching the date of expiration the quality of the food obviously might be a little dubious but it's not going to really oh that's the wrong button that's the let go button i meant to click the slappy slappy button all right here we go time to catch a ride your uber has arrived here we go i like watching a little animation of them struggling. These must be pretty huge bees though if you think about it. Donkey Kong is not a small creature. They're doing their little best. Their wings. I'm just trying so hard. Probably not a super viable form of, it, of transportation, but it is environmentally friendly. Okay. There we go. There are times when I haven't played this game in a hot minute, so I kind of forget the buttons, so... Do or don't forgive me, your choice. All right. But things are going fine. The channel is doing so well. Hopefully you're all doing so well. Everything's coming up sweet like honey. Those of you that watch the videos and enjoy them, it's very sweet of you to do so. Can I bonk you? Nope. I just want to see if there's anything in this. Oh, a banana? This is probably not significant, I don't think. Ooh, a banana bunch is banana? Okay. Not super great. Okay. It's a life in there if you need it. Let's travel all around. Ooh, that looks a little suspicious down there. Do you see that, viewers? Ooh. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, though. We can't let things swing out of control. Oops. 
can the... Okay. Great. As we plunge Dixie and Donkey Kong to their deaths. Oops. Okay. I don't know if I really necessarily would say I need Dixie to make this happen, but it would probably make everything easier. Whoop. Alright, so here we got a little bit of a barrel blast and challenge. Let the bananas guide you to success. Pretty tricky puzzle. Hopefully you all can manage it. And there is your sixth puzzle piece. We're getting pretty close to the end here. For being a bonus level, this one, not super eventful, I guess. It has some unique mechanics to it with this whole pendulum dilly-dally. But other than that, you know, not really... Anything I'd write home about? Dear Mom and Dad, today is my 7,000th day at summer camp. There's pendulums out here covered in grass and death if you jump down below. Okay. Noted. Well, we bought Dixie Barrels. We might as well use them. I don't know why I bought so many of Cranky. and not really in need of his services as often. But that's okay. We still appreciate him as a primate. All right. Let's see if we can grab the pendulum from above. I like the the mice that are running in circles on those wheels. It's a nice touch. These are kind of like they're these are part of the hives, I suppose. I think that's kind of the aesthetic they were going for. Ooh, getting dizzy. No. Okay, so I definitely took that the wrong direction. Have the G. The OG. And there's the bonus bear or the end barrel, so I must have forgotten something because I don't have everything, but that's okay. We will figure out what we're missing here in a moment and we will get it. We got six of seven, which is pretty good. I feel like we did the majority of that pretty darn well. I would hedge a bet. Okay, so we got another trip into the Beehive Brawl. Let's go ahead and get right back at it. I think we were actually very close to having everything. Those pendulums at the end though, they were a little suspicious. So I'm trying to think that's probably where the final puzzle piece was. So we will do our darndest to speed run our way back there. Ooh, excuse me, fellas or ladies or whatever you are. I feel like they're probably fellas. I think that bees, the worker bees, are usually the the gentle sirs going out there and finding the pollen and stuff. I could be getting that wrong. I'm not a biologist. This would be kind of an opportunity to give bee facts that I did not prepare, so sorry about that, everybody. Sorry! I don't have any of them today. That's not unbelievable, but... Enjoying this amazing game is totally believable. Whoa, alright. We're just blasting through this part. The game's a lot easier if you don't care about what you're doing. But I care, because I care about all of you. And that's called... Compassion. It's a bond that I would never break. I also really enjoy that sound effect. And boop. Excuse me, sir. Take your... I almost said banana bomb. It's not a banana. That is a watermelon. Also, I perfectly placed that to not allow it to explode. That's the... Oh, we need a buddy and we don't have one. Okay. And as such, we jump into the void. I got a little impatient. Whoop. All right, get to see more of this animation though. This is fun. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that's supposed to be like hairy fruit or what. What it on earth is kind of going on here? Kind of reminds me of like the inside of a kiwi, but I don't think that's what that is. Kiwi on the outside's brown, kind of looks like a poo poo. Apparently you can eat the outside of a kiwi. I didn't know that. I mean, you can eat the skin of most fruits, I think, as long as they're not like a prickly one. 
You wouldn't want to nom 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 on that. That sounds dangerous for the old roof of your mouth. But don't take that from me. I'm not a dentist. I'm not a connoisseur of fruit either, so I am not an authority on the matter. All right, so I think there might have been something. Ah, here it is. I was so close. You get all these bananas. I think this will give us our final puzzle piece. It does. Okay, if I would have only figured that out sooner, would have been able to do this in one try. But it's okay. You don't even have to necessarily really grab onto these things when you're moving along. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Oops, there's probably a barrel down there. I forget how I even traversed to this part of the stage last time. I just kind of winged it there. It was a full send, and I just had to do it. All right, so we want to get to the top of this platform. Whoop. Okay. Easy as she goes. Sometimes I get a little impatient. It causes me... Oop! No! No! Okay. All right. So... Everything is going according to plan. Just a casual 15 or so minutes on the first level. Thankfully, I think the next level is a little bit shorter than this one. Both of these levels are, as stated, a wee bit easier. They're not as punishing as some of the others, thankfully. Because we just need a bit of a break. Yes, yeah, so you have to ride this bad boy all the way around. Oh boy. Make yourself very dizzy in the process. At first I couldn't figure out why I got stuck, and now I see it's because it landed in the hunt. There we go, all right. Perfect, first try. Wonderfully done. No sweat off our backs. We even unlocked that image, you betcha. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, right? Huh, viewers? I'm feeling pretty good about all of that. Yes, okay. Now where's 5B? There it is, the Jam and James. So who's ready to jam out with their jam? Yeah. Hopefully all of you are. This is gonna be amazing. It'll be Jam and James. Oh yeah, listen to that music. Listen to those cranking tunes. Oh yeah. Pretty funky. David Wise once again coming in hot with another banger for the Donkey Kong universe. Oh yeah. I don't think that there's any particular Kong Panion that is advisable in uh in this level. I think it's just kind of a whoever you want. Pick your poison, whoever your favorite is. The first thing, I think, collecting some bananas here would be a good idea. Let's see what we get. It's a puzzle piece, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you grab that. I do quite enjoy this tune. Grass over here looks kind of suspicious. Okay. I feel like maybe if I hit this from the top. Maybe something good will come of the grass over here. Seems a little unlikely that they would include two things back to back like that, but it is. It's a it's a bonus. You never would have guessed, but I told you and I showed you. Oh, okay. Well, I've never done that before. There's a first for everything, viewers. Okay. So as such, your reward for blasting into oblivion is uh, to kill yourself. So here we're gonna do that, and whoop, oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. That is a shocking revelation. We're doing fine, ooh. All plan was a tactical reset. Don't worry. Everything here at d -Mike Industries is incredibly calculated, so you've got that to look forward to. If I don't show you what not to do, then you won't know what not to do. 
all part of the plan. And I'm the man with the plan. Let's try that again. Just wanted to let you know that you can certainly blast into the ground if you're not careful. Of the two barrel blast minigames, this one does require a little bit of precision. The other one, that's just the barrels blasting back and forth. You can just kind of freehand it and do whatever you want. But this one actually requires a little bit of TLC. That's okay. But yeah, that's two puzzle pieces pretty early on the level. So this one, pretty reasonable to accomplish, I would say. You probably have to kind of jam pack this one a little bit because of this amazing tune. You don't want to miss it. Okay. You guys know how much I absolutely enjoy disappearing platforms, especially in a bonus level. It's kind of my kind of my my thing, my Jimmy Jam. Okay. So we got more ratatouilles here. Please don't seem busy. Hanging out in these. Spiked wheels? That seemed kind of rude. Did they put themselves in there? Are they? Are they? Wait, are they mice? Do they have little otters or something? I can't really tell, but they have little, have little horned helmets. That's kind of fun. A little aesthetic that I can appreciate. That's one of the things that Donkey Kong games always do well is kind of create a kind of a fun atmosphere. Oops. Okay. Okay. Let's use the iframes here to our advantage. That's the tactical decision. There we go. Gotta watch out for those spiky balls. Or not. Like I just did. Also, what's up with these, like, farting toucans, huh? Anybody got an opinion on that? What are those guys about? Why are they here? How do they... How do they achieve such flatulence? Okay, so there's a little bit of a target here that appears we need to hit. Doing so hopefully will bounce us into that blast barrel. It does. And then all heck is breaking loose. Oh boy. You gotta kinda maneuver through these blast barrels to get yourself oops. Okay, you need something to land on. Okay. Funnily enough, I guess that's how that works. Okay. Guys, it's fine. Don't panic. We're just bringing it around town. Let the wheels of destiny spin. Oh, I don't know what's landing on. Oh! No! Oh, okay. I got a little nervous there. You can bonk on these, on these birds, thankfully. Surprisingly able to do so given how they are very much so not real. Okay. So let's let's do a better job here, shall we? You gotta really hold hold your stick and nudge it over. Okay. No, no. Ugh. That platform takes its good gosh dang time to come back. I don't like it. I don't like it, viewers. Disappearing platforms is probably one of my least favorite mechanics in this game. It's probably just because it has punished me, oh boy, in particular. The Kong Panions are one of my favorite mechanics of this game, so I will never hesitate to engage in friendship. Or in this case, it's like family, sort of. I mean, I guess like... Okay. I guess Dixie is kind of friendship because it's like Diddy's girlfriend and he's he's Donkey Kong's nephew. So she's kind of just like on a volunteer basis. A little a little pro bono. And I am pro bono. Okay, here we go. Yikes. That was quite the situation. But we're doing fine. Alright. Looks like a bonus area, doesn't it? I'd say so. Oh boy, one of these. You guys know I love collecting bananas in bonus areas. It's kind of one of my favorite things ever. 
Makes this game so fruitful and fun. All right. This one's not the worst. The falling platforms one, I think that one's probably my least favorite. That one's pretty tricky. Oh boy. Come here. Get over here. Woo! Plenty of time to spare. Easy peasy. Alright, hopefully we haven't missed anything yet. I don't think we have, but only one way to find out. Whoa, I was not ready for that. Oh, still not ready for that. Kind of reminds me of one of the early K levels. It had something kind of like that. Ooh. More disappearing platforms. Oh, boy. I love it, viewers. All right. We got to keep our head about us. We're losing our mind. Can't have that. Okay. I'd like you to... Okay, great. Totally planned. Of course. Oh, boy. You know, this only gets, you know, demonstrably harder without a Kong Panion, and that's what I'm looking for when I play Donkey Kong Country Tropical. Alright. No real good way to do this, I don't know. Can I grab? No. Wait, I have an idea. Okay. Not quite what I had in mind, but that's okay. Go ahead and uh, hmm, dip into the inventory a little bit. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I wish the Kong Canyon barrels were a little bit more prevalent. It's one of the things that me being a pro gamer doesn't need, but it's always appreciated. Oh no. Okay. This is going incredibly. And do this one. Nothing to see here, viewers. Nothing to see. Alright. You can't just brute force it anymore. These levels mean business. They mean business. If you, if you know. Okay, so. Part of me feels like I need to get on. Oh, I can just do. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. I want to get to this platform over here because I think this might be a. Pu oh, yeah. I knew it. Don't I know it? It looks suspicious. That's kind of how you decide in life. When you're walking around and you're like, hmm, I'm not sure if this is a suspicious thing or not. Is there a puzzle piece? Always be mindful of puzzle pieces. Okay, so we got one more puzzle piece to get. And if you notice, that little smasher right over there, it looks a little busted. Maybe we should, uh, do some routine maintenance. Oh, I missed the... Gee, where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought he didn't finish the level. Where is it? Alright, so this the next part's a little tricky. It's gonna involve some very timely blastings. Keep going back and forth. Oh my god. It's fine. I'm just showing you where the end of the level is. That's what that was. Completely tactical, everybody. Don't worry. But for some reason, that like I looked at this and I was like, oh yeah, this is the final, final bingo barrel. And I was like, wait, no, it's not. All right. So you can shoot around the owls. You can shoot at the owls. You can grab a bunch of bananas. You can finish the bonus levels. And that's how you do it. You betcha, that's all five puzzle pieces, all Kong letters, which unlocks the K level. Oh yeah, and that's what we're gonna be doing next time. You bet your behinds. Bada boom, bada bing, there it is. Oh, the K level. But first, it's time for toys. I might do this at the beginning of levels in the future once I unlock it, because it is a little, uh, why are you not? He's out of stock. I bought all of his toys out. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, I guess we're not getting toys today. How disappointing, but that's okay. Because next time we're doing the K-level. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. 
It's been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.